Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. If you are in sixth grade, we've been just working through page five in our blue books this week, which all that that's doing is taking the notes that we already know and teaching us how to put it on the music staff using actual musical symbols. All right. So uh, when we're doing a video like this where I will be accompanying you and keeping you company while you practice, then you can pause it at any time you need to if you have to catch up with something. For example, if you've already put your instruments together, then great, we're ready to go. But if you need to put your instrument together, you can pause the video and then just start it up again when you're ready to go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll learn the notes that we need to use, give you some practice on them, and then I will accompany you on the piano or the guitar. We'll play through it once with a metronome, help us keep the beat, and then we'll play it once without a metronome just to get some more musicality in there. All right. So if you look at page five, number two, this is our first note. It's a concert D for flutes and trombones and bells, but for clarinets and trumpets, it's an E. All right. And it sounds like this. Let's try playing it together. We're going to play it for four beats and then take a breath. All right. So good posture, edge of our seat, sitting up tall, flat feet, bring our horns up. All right. Set our embouchure with good hand position. We're going to take a breath together and hold that note out for four. Attack, sustain, release. Okay? Let's try it. And one. Tap your toe. Breathe out. Breathe in. two on page five it's called our first note and watch carefully for when we have a note which has sound or a rest which has silence are my letters backwards they might be all right just look at the symbols notes for sound rests for silence and we're going to read it from left to right with our tempo in the background to start okay this is our first note here we go and one, tap your toe, breathe out, breathe in, go. One, two, three, four, release, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, four, release, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, four, release. Not bad. Let's try that again without the metronome this time. Just you tap in your toe to keep tempo. All right? See if you can find one thing to improve, whether it was an attack, a sustain, a release, a note, a rest, our posture, or hand position. Let's try it. Posture. Horns are up. Hand position. Embouchure. Get ready to tap your toe and to breathe. Number two, our first note. And one. Tap your toe. Breathe. Out, breathe in, and one, two, three, four, release, two, three, breathe, one, two, three, four, release, two, three, breathe, one, two, three, four, done. Not bad. I hope that went well. If it didn't, you can pause and rewind. But for now, let's look at number three. That's our second note, which we call Concert C. That's because flutes and bells and trombones play a C, but for trumpets and clarinets, it's not C, but D. All right? Speaking of trumpets, remember for this note, we don't only press our first and third valves down, but we also have to kick our third valve slide out just a little bit to help it sound more in tune. Okay? Uh, it sounds like this. Or like this. So let's try it together, all right? Here's our metronome, posture, horns are up, hand position, embouchure. Can you hold that note out for four counts? Four counts on, four counts off, and repeat. Here we go. This is our second note, just the note by itself. 
Here we go. And a one. Tap your toe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay. Remember, attack, sustain, release. Air. Breathe. Try that again. One and two and one, two. Ready? One more time. Remember, we have to sustain our air all the way through to the release because that air is what makes up the note. It's got to sound good. It's got to have good air. All right? So here's our second note. This is number three on page five. Okay? Sounds like this. Okay? That's our note, C. Let's try it once with the metronome, and then we'll do it once without. Here we go. Posture. Horns are up. Hand position. Embouchure. One. Tap your toe. Breathe out. Breathe in. And one. Release. practicing because I clearly need to practice my piano part a little bit too okay uh, let's try that again one more time without the metronome number three our second note one tap your toe breathe out breathe in and That's it. That's the song. Now, at this point, I want to ask you, how is it feeling? Uh, do you feel like you're struggling? Do you feel like this is going really well? Remember, if you're struggling, you have the fingering chart next to each new note to help you refresh your memory on the fingers. We have the rest for us to move our fingers, and that's really going to come in handy for number four. Uh, so in number four, every time you see a note, it's going to be one of those two notes. So we want to use the rest to move your fingers, okay? So for this one, we're going to move our fingers in the rests and put both of those notes into action, okay? So let's try number four. Remember, if you're a brass player and you're hearing notes that are too low or too high compared to what the notes are supposed to be, remember, it's all in the corners. It's in whether we are shaping our tongue like an ah or an e, and it's about our air, <clears throat> air speed, okay? So, let's try number four. This is the two note tango. It's going to put both of these notes into, into action, and I'm going to ask you to move your fingers from one note to the next during the rest. All right? Now, this one we haven't done in class, so uh, good luck. And if you need a rewind, pause, play, and get a couple more practices in, that's totally fine. All right? Try number two. Go ahead and find your first note. Set your posture, horns are up, hand position, embouchure, find your first note. Here we go. One, a two, and a one, two, ready, breathe. One, two, three, four, rest, two, three, breathe. song. If you need some more practice, feel free to pause and rewind, but we'll play that once more without the metronome, okay? Remember for the rests and the notes, okay? Move your fingers during the rests. Posture, horns are up, hand position, embouchure, find that first note, fingers in place. Here we go. And a one. Tap your toe. Breathe out. Breathe in. And one, two. And release. Move your fingers. One, two, three, four. Release. Move your fingers. One, two, three, four. Release. Move your fingers. One, two, three, four. Release. Move your fingers. Last. 
That one I'm going to do one more time with a little less talking. All right? You take control. One, tap your toe, breathe out. Here we go. So, before we leave today, let's move to the last one on page five, which is number five, our third note, which was the first note that we played when we did our first five-note sheet, okay? Uh, for flutes and trombones and bells, this is a concert B-flat, all right? It sounds like this. All right? For trumpets and clarinets, it's going to be a C, all right? Remember to bring that third valve slide back in in the trumpets. And let's just play that note all by itself. Hold it out for four counts. Posture, horns are up, hand position, embouchure. Look at your note. Here we go. One, three, breathe out and in. Again, and one, two, ready, breathe. Remember, attack, sustain, release, all with the air, all with the breath. One more time, and one, two, ready, breathe. One, two, three, four, release. All right, so now let's try number five, our third note, one take with the metronome, and one take without it. All right, here we go. Posture, horns are up, hands. Embouchure. One, one, tap your toe, breathe out, breathe in, and. Two, three, four, release. Two, three, breathe. Two, three, four, release. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and. Good. Try that once without the metronome. All right. Hopefully, this went well for you today. If it didn't, it's no problem. Remember, we're still at the beginning of our journey. We're at school to become, not to be already. So if we need a little bit more time to sort out some of these notes and to make sense of all of this, no problem. We got so much time, I promise you. Here we go. And one, and two, and one, two, ready. That's page five. Nicely done. What was that? 13 minutes? All right. Uh, you guys are doing really well. I'm proud of how you're doing in class. I'm proud of how you're doing at home. And I'm really excited to see where we go with this over the course of the year because uh, you guys have a lot of promise and you're going to be an awesome team. So uh, thank you for practicing. Hope you had a good time. I hope this helped. And uh, if not, we'll be back again next Wednesday with some other videos to maybe help out a little bit more. So keep practicing, stay musical, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye.